You may have come across these letters in your home audio journey at some point. S slash PDIF. There may be more than one way to say it, but when I was going to audio engineering school, everyone referred to it as SPDIF. But one thing that might seem confusing is that you may have seen this term interchangeable with digital coax, toslink, optical, or RCA cables. So I'm here to quickly explain what each means. SPDIF stands for Sony Philips Digital Interconnect Format, or more commonly, Sony Philips Digital Interface. One less word wins every time, just saying. Now let's distinguish this right off the bat. SPDIF is a protocol developed in partnership by Sony and Philips to carry digital audio over relatively short distances. These audio signals are then transmitted over either a digital coax cable that has either BNC or RCA connectors or a fiber optic cable using Toslink connectors. You see these most commonly with home theater systems or digital hi-fi systems. So when you hear the term RCA cable nowadays, that's technically a digital coax cable terminated with RCA connectors on each end. And a digital coax cable carries that digital audio signal using the SPDIF protocol through electrical impulses. And to distinguish it from analog signals, digital coax cables and ports are usually designated with the color orange as opposed to red and white like you're probably most familiar with. Although sometimes digital coax ports can be black depending on the component. In addition, when you hear the term optical cable, that is a fiber optic cable, once again, carrying the digital audio signal using the SPDIF protocol using pulses of red light instead of electricity, which is then terminated by Toslink connectors on each end. And the port is always going to be this tiny little flabby doorway. And since it's using light to send the signal, optical cables are no longer prone to electromagnetic interference or 60 hertz ground hum issues you might come across with RCA cables. Problem is, an optical signal is prone to more jitter. Jitter can be its own video unto itself. So we'll just say that jitter can cause problems during the point at which a digital signal is converted into electrical impulses by the DAC or digital to analog converter. Most commonly, you'll find the use of either digital coax or optical cables in hi-fi systems, since both types of cables can transfer uncompressed stereo PCM audio signals. In home theater applications though, digital coax and optical are less common nowadays since they are limited to compressed 5.1 Dolby Digital and DTS surround sound signals. Neither one can carry uncompressed high bitrate signals like Dolby True HD or DTS HD Master Audio. So you can forget about Dolby Atmos and DTSX as well. So I hope this quick video clears the air though concerning those very closely related terms. Just to recap, SPDIF is the protocol in which digital audio signals are transferred. Digital coax and optical are the types of cables that these digital signals pass through, coax being electrical and optical being red light. And the terms BNC, RCA, and Toslink are the types of connectors on the ends of those cables. You see? I knew you could do it. Congratulations, you passed the quiz. Thank you so much for watching. And now it's your turn. Did you already know the difference between these terms? Did you learn something along the way? Do you still use digital coax or optical in your home theater system? Do you use coax or optical with your killer hi-fi system? Let's start a conversation, people. As always, this world is crazy enough as it is, so please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies or listen to amazing hi-fi music, experience them. And of course, always be listening.